क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 सेज अ सिंपल पेंडुलम परफॉर्म सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन अबाउट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो विद एम्पलीट्यूड ए एंड टाइम पीरियड टी एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पेंडुलम इज एट वन एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन द स्पीड ऑफ पेंडुलम एट टी इज इक्वल टू टी बाई सिक्स इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन सच अ केस द डिसमेंट ऑफ द पेंडुलम कैन बी रिटर्न एस ए कॉस ओमेगा टी वे ओमेगा इज द एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी एंड इन द टर्म्स ऑफ टाइम पीरियड इट कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू पाए by capital t into small t the velocity will be equal to dx by dt and it will be equal to minus of a into 2 pi by capital t into sin 2 pi by capital t into small t on substituting the value that t is equal to t by 6 we find out the velocity to be equal to minus a into 2 pi by t into sin pi by 3 this turns out to be equal to root 3 pi a by t and hence option number 2 for this question is the correct answer now let us discuss the question number 17 question number 17 says that the shape of graph between square of time period and length of simple pendulum is now dear students the time period of a simple pendulum is equal to under root of l by g into 2 pi which means that t square is proportional to l therefore the graph between t and l will be a parabola however graph between t square and l would be a straight line and therefore option number 3 for this question is the correct answer now let us discuss the question number 18 the question says that the phase difference between displacement and acceleration of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is dear students it is a factual question and the phase difference between the displacement and the acceleration of the particle in a simple harmonic motion is 180 degree or pi which means that for this question option number 4 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the next question of the test which is question number 19 the question says that if the frequency of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is then the frequency of its total energy is the students we are assuming an idle simple harmonic motion in which the energy is not dissipated that is it is not a damped simple harmonic motion or a damped harmonic oscillator in this case the energy of the oscillator remains constant and does not oscillate therefore we can say that the time period is infinity Dear student, therefore, for question number nineteen, the answer is option number two, which says that the frequency is zero because frequency is one by time period and one by infinity would be equal to zero. Now let us discuss the question number twenty. Question number twenty says, in case of forced oscillation, the frequency of oscillation of body is first equal to its natural frequency, second equal to frequency of applied periodic force, third. average of natural frequency of applied periodic force fourth difference of natural frequency in applied free periodic force dear students in case of forced oscillation the frequency of oscillation of the body is equal to the frequency of the applied periodic force therefore for this theoretical question the correct answer is option number 2 now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 21 